morning. Hello everyone. Finally, we got some snow. The mountains over there. Oh, nice view. So, I'm out here. And I want you to sh uh, I want to show you uh, what I take with me if I want to be comfortable outside while having a night out. Sleeping set up for winter. Not that much. Okay, looks big. I told you I want to be comfortable. First of all, I wanted to check out the area I want to sleep in. It's just right here. I did a small video once for all the scouts because I had a, had a nice shelter built in here. A lot of branches came down. If you checked out all my videos, you maybe saw this area once. And uh, now there's the I asked the question there in this video, and uh, so this is the answer. There's a shelter down there. But as I just came along here, I had a smell in my nose. This here. I go check and see this. You see this depression here? There's another one, there's another one. Don't know if you can see this, we can pick this up. Someone is running back there. Here again. You may see that there's a hole getting in there. And I'm sure someone stepped there. Over here again, here again. And I just checked and this trail runs down just to the front of the shelter. And you see some, some kind of variations in there. So you're, you can tell that there's someone, someone went there. And yeah, and a snap came to my mind. I didn't close up the shelter. It looks really crazy right now. Oh my god, Whew. hard smell, let's see if there's a fox in there. Whew. Wow, nice. I think he claimed it for himself. Damn it. Okay, 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 okay. Um, by the way, Michael Monti. Uh, this is the video answer to the 444 people have a, on your channel. Quite a lot of subs. Okay, um, yeah. I'm a little, yeah, struck by that. Well, I have another shelter down there. Uh, some people on our seminar, our course built. And this is closed, I think. But, uh, it's not the kind of shelter I want to use. So, okay, I think I will check a tarp, search for a nice spot and get back to you later. All right. Okay, I'm back here at, the, at our place. Uh, I was scouting around up there, but uh, most of the, of, the, of the spots I would, would like to use up there are quite far away from the area I want to sleep out because there's another purpose that I would do this. And uh, it's, uh, it's uh, right, uh, right around now, there's a uh, mating season of the tawny owl in Waldkaut. And uh, we'd, we'd like to see if, if there are tawny owls around here. Because uh, in the mating season they're, they're calling quite loudly and, uh, and widely, so it would be, would be great to know if there are tawny owls around. 
Um, and that's so it comes in handy, you know. I want to show you people what I what I take with me if I'm sleeping out. It would look uh, would look a, a little different if I would sleep out in the woods because I would just uh, cuddle up under under one of those uh, big spruce trees. I will show you that in another video. But uh, so the whole setup is here. I will set it up and uh, tell you what's going on later. One base layer, uh, keep it from the wet ground. It's like really good if you made it uh, some kind of nylon stuff, whatever. This big uh, old guy that's Yeah. Oh, that's it. I got uh, stuff from eBay as well as this uh, crazy US military bag. And this is the, the one with the, you know, the with the setup is like uh, you have two bags in there actually. So you can trap uh, the air right in between them. They are amazing. I slept out uh, during, uh, I don't know, I think it was about minus 15 Celsius. This worked out pretty amazing. So this would be the setup for tonight. But uh, as I don't have a, a big space to around me, except for this one, but I think someone's living up there. Uh, quite a lot of scat on there. Other, other tiny, tiny uh, uh, tracks. See this? There's some someone living up there, I think. Oh, he's using this for for his toilet. Whatever. Okay. So, if this doesn't look comfy, I don't know. Okay, while I'm out here preparing an overnighter outside in my garden, from the tawny owls, town, town, tawny owls, uh, I thought I, I could as well just uh, do a little video response on uh, Bushcraft Overland and Rico. Uh, <laughs> normally I don't use a tarp outside because I live, uh, no, I'm, I don't live, but uh, I like to just to crawl onto one, on, 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 on a tree and just live, uh, lie there with my sleeping bag. But uh, as I'm here in the open, I'd like to use a tarp. And uh, you asked us what kind of tarps we use. This is a uh, uh, this is from uh, a company called Nord Disc. Uh, they have this uh, this uh, this uh, polar bear on the on the as a, as a trade trademark sign and this uh, snowflake whatever. Uh, I found this to be quite, you know, amazing. I use it for quite a lot of stuff. If I'm out here in the rain, uh, flint napping or whatever. Um, it's a uh, 3 by 3 and uh, it's plenty enough for me. So, I don't know, I already have, uh, have it fixed on one side. I will show the other, the other knot I use. <laughs> really easy stuff and, uh, yeah. Okay. Here's the knot I will use. Go around, around the tree once. Put this up here. And by the second time, I'm already putting in this knot. Can fix it over here. Put some more knots in there. 
three, and you're good to go. Sit up. In the end, you can just, the loose end just fit in through here. Pull it a little tight so it's not going to come on down. If you want to loosen it, get it through again. One push, it's open. Nice, pull it over here. This is the setup. Show you the template. Okay, Monty and Enrico. I hope you don't mind how put you put together. Uh, this is the setup I came up with. Really fun to play around with those stuff. One pool opening. You can play around with these with these setups. It's really amazing. So far, so good. Thanks for being with me on this one. Until now, I'll get back to you in the evening when it's sleeping time. Great night to everyone. Nice full moon. I think it's one day after. The stars are bright. It's now uh, midnight. We have a uh, Minus three degrees Celsius. It's quite okay. So, have a good night. I'll bring you in if I can hear an owl or something. <laughs> okay. Good night, everyone. Good morning. Oh, it's quite fresh outside. But really cozy in here. Sleeping bag was really amazing. <clears throat> oh, I had a nice night. But for, unfortunately, I didn't hear a Tony Owl. But there was a fox running by. It was so dark the camera couldn't pick it. The fuck came from from up there. Stopped behind behind the tarp. Just running down this this slope here. That was fun. I heard them scream as well, two or three times. And I think there were some markets going on. They were 
the, in the other, other part of the, of the garden. So we'll see what the tracks will tell us today. All right, so this is it. <laughs> and this was the night out in winter. I'm sure there are more to come for me. Let's see what the tiny owls are up to. Maybe it'll take some more time over here. Whatever. Birds are now starting their good morning, morning prayers, so to say, so to speak. <laughs> now we'll go up, get up, make some breakfast. Maybe and then going to pick up some kids and go out in the woods. Alright. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Bye.